Happy Sunday and welcome to my weekly reset routine which is something I preferably do on a Sunday just because I find this little routine helps me get in the mood for the week ahead. Not going into the week feeling anxious or overwhelmed but actually going in feeling prepared and almost looking forward to it. So this afternoon we're starting with some hair care. I put on a hair mask because if you've been following me, you'll know that I've been struggling with very thin hair. So I've been doing this maybe two to three times a week to help my hair get back to a healthy state. And if especially if I'm at home not really doing much or going anywhere, then I find this is really good just to pop in for a couple of hours. I've also been experimenting with different oils that are supposed to help with hair growth because as you can see on my scalp, I have some gaps that I would really like to work on, especially before we get married next year. Then I set a timer on my phone just to give whichever space in the house needs a quick declutter. Today it was the kitchen and I find this gives me a little extra pressure to finish it in under 10 minutes and a clear space is a clear mind and it helps me with the next task that I have on my list. I use Notion, which is not sponsored by the way, but I use this platform to organize my thoughts and my weekly planners and monthly planners. You don't need this, but I find just brain dumping and getting things out onto a platform or paper of the things that have crept up over the weekend that you've got to do really, really helps. Then what I like to do is just jot down some goals that I have for the week. I either do this on paper as I've chosen today or on Notion. It just depends on my mood, to be completely honest. I am a paper girl at heart, but we are trying to move into the digital space just to streamline the workflow. But I like to just have a little brainstorm of the things that I want to get done. And then I'll plan out my week in my planner just to get some things down on paper and out of my mind so that when I go to bed at night I can actually sleep rather than thinking of all these little tasks that I need to do throughout the week. Another thing I'm going to do is write down things I need to buy for the house. Nothing nothing like groceries because that's like a separate list, but just little bits and bobs that I need to pick up for the house. We just moved into this apartment and there's a little couple of things that's missing. So we're going to make a list for that as well. The benefit of using something digital to write these things down is that you can actually link in some products that you need to buy if you're ordering it online and I just find it makes things a little bit quicker. Another thing I like to do is come into this fitness um, page and pop in here what I want to do for the week. Even if, even if it's literally like watch this video and copy the stretching or literally like walk on the treadmill, whatever it is, because I find that I do procrastinate if I don't put this in. And I haven't done this for a while and I feel it. I think we can all, I often say like, I don't have time, I don't have time, it's, it's either like the gym or I don't have time to do both. I do have time, it's just we choose not to do it. And all of these ones that I've chosen for this week are all 10, 10 or 11 minutes long, which is great. We've all got 10 minutes in the morning and if I just do this in the morning before the gym or whatever before I start my day, then I think it will help me. So I've got this template, it's free. I'll link it in the description box below if you wanna grab it. I like the fact that I can just like open this from Monday to Friday and just click on it straight away. That stops me from scrolling on YouTube, getting lost, getting distracted by other videos on YouTube and just having it right there. I know I need to play and that's it. I had extra laundry to do. So instead of 
trying to squeeze everything onto the clothes horse, I just put a timer to begin in the morning so when I wake up, they're ready to hang up. Voila. Can you imagine that doesn't fit? No, it doesn't fit. Ooh, that looks, that looks nice. Oh, wow. That is pretty. Now, I don't journal every day, but when I do, I use this app called Superhuman, which is not sponsored in any way, but I am heavily invested with my time into this app. She has all sorts of meditations. I've talked about this many times on my channel before, but she also has writing meditations, which are my favorite. And this one is perfect for new week, new goals. And just to get you in the mindset for the new week ahead, she gives you questions to write down. And I love just to put on some relaxing music and answer the questions before settling down for the night. One of the questions I wrote the answer to is what action can I take to get me closer to where I want to be this week? And I want to start going to the gym more. So I laid out my gym clothes ready for the morning. I like to read a story when I go to bed rather than self-development and I love Colleen Hoover. If you haven't read any of her books yet, I'd highly recommend. I just get really into the story and I forget about everything else going on and it really just takes me away I love it so I'm reading her book tonight and I can literally read her books within two days it's incredible how fast I can go through them but she's really really good and really easy to read I'd recommend and I also listen to my favorite playlist which I'm gonna link it down below it's classical music it's so pretty and beautiful and I love to end my night like this <laughs> 